guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, before we get into the video, I would like to address the redness of my face. I'm a little sunburned right now, so sorry if I'm looking a little bit like a lobster. Ignoring the fact that I look like a lobster, today's video is just going to kind of be a simple video on how I set up my mouse cages. I get a lot of questions about my mice and mouse care and stuff because I don't know, a lot of people tell me there's not many good mouse videos out there so they request them for me quite often. So I do plan on doing more care videos and such but for today, this is just how I set up my mouse cages. To get on with the video, I would really like to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Lavoid. They actually sent me a new air purifier to test out and review for you guys and I'm really excited to have it. If any of you guys are familiar with mice, you probably do know that they have fairly sensitive respiratory systems. So to me, it is really important that I have the best air quality possible to ensure that they are healthy. I have been using this purifier for a couple days now and I've really been enjoying it. I think it does a really good job. I have been doing a lot of work around my house lately. I've been cleaning and building stuff so it can get a little messy and the purifier has done a great job at keeping my air top notch. I would highly recommend checking them out. There will be a link in my description to go and check it out. But um, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the air purifier and then we will go right ahead and get on with the video. So this here is the Lavoid air purifier. This is a, what it looks like. You know, it's a pretty nice design. It's not an eyesore by any means. It looks pretty good in the house. So that's a big plus. The purifier itself does have several cool features such as the touch screen and then you can see all of the different features on here. So first off, like I said, this is a touch screen which I really love so there's the power button, you know. Let's take a closer detailed look at some of the other features. So first off, we'll take a look at what the sleep mode is which is actually what the purifier is set on right now. So sleep mode essentially just allows the purifier to run really quietly so obviously if you want to run it at nighttime, it's not going to wake you up with a bunch of loud noise. The purifier is actually running on sleep mode right now and you can't even hear it so that shows how quiet it is. Next after sleep mode we have auto. So when you select the auto setting it shows you a little color here. This color tells you what your air quality is. Blue means very good and then it has different colors for different meanings. I believe blue is very good, green is good, orange slash yellow is okay and then if it's really Really bad it will turn red. You can see here it is blue which means my air quality is really good. Obviously when your air quality is really good the purifier runs at a very low setting. Like I said the purifier is running right now and you don't even hear it. If my air quality were to be really bad the air purifier would kick up and it would work harder. No purifying my air better, if you will. Next, after the auto setting, there is the speed setting, which is just kind of manual, so you can set it to whatever speed you like. So here, we will turn it on the first speed. This here is the first speed that it offers. This here is the second speed. This here is the third speed. Personally, I like to run it on auto, so I'm just going to set it right back there. This way it just does whatever I need it to do and I don't have to worry about manually kicking the fan up or down depending on what I need. So I personally like the auto function, that's my personal favorite. And lastly, there is a timer. You can set the timer here for however long you need it. There is one hour, two hours, three, four, five, and obviously it continues to go up. So the timer setting is really useful if you just want to run the purifier for so many hours a day. Maybe you just want to run it for eight hours while you're at work or something, so you can set it to do that. Overall, I really like this purifier and all the features that it offers, so I am very happy with it. Just a random little side note, I mentioned earlier how when it's on the auto function, the color indicator will tell you your air quality. Earlier when I showed you my air quality, oh, Wow, okay, that was convenient. I just got it on camera. So you could see that it was green when the air quality was good and blue when it is very good. And when it was green, the air purifier kicked up so it was working a little harder and now that it's back on very good, it's not working as hard. So obviously one of the first things you're going to need to do in order to set up your cage 
is to add bedding. For my mice, I personally like to use Aspen. I find Aspen is really good at controlling odor and it also holds their burrows really well. Mice do like to burrow, so it's nice to have a bedding that holds their burrows. Aspen is just my personal preference. If you do choose to use something like paper bedding, that's totally fine as well. I just prefer Aspen. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple inches of Aspen into the bin. I have all the Aspen in the bin and now on top of the Aspen, I'm actually going to add some hay. This isn't necessary at all. Mice don't need hay, but they do like to use it as a nesting material, so it's totally fine to give them some hay if you want to, so that's what I'm gonna do. Next up, I'm going to add this little platform here. This is actually a DIY platform that I made. As you can see, there's like some tunnels and stuff down here, so they, I don't know, they really enjoy this. I like to kind of dig this down into the substrate a bit so that they can kind of burrow in those tunnels, if, if you know what I mean. I like to kind of dig it down like that and then just push push the bedding back over it and then it creates a cool hiding spot for them. So this is what it looks like once it's burrowed down there. It's just kind of like a wooden platform up here. But then when you look down here, you can see the toilet paper tubes. I don't know how well you can actually see them, but they're there and they like to kind of hide out in here. So they really enjoy this. And now I'm also going to take this wooden bendy bridge and I'm going to place this right here. So this kind of acts as two things. One, it gives them a nice little hiding spot down here, and it also gives them a nice little thing to climb on. It can kind of be like a bridge onto the platform, but they do love climbing on things, so I like to have this so that they can climb on it and hide under it. And just for an additional climbing slash hiding spot, I like to take this second bendy bridge and kind of place it on top of it like that, so it creates, I don't know, it creates a cool little climbing thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know, they, they seem to like it and I think it's kind of cool, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, next I have this thing, I don't really know what it's called, but I like to kind of dig this down into the bedding so it kind of acts again as like a little burrow tunnel thing. Probably going to put it in this front corner here, so I'm just going to move the bedding. So now that I moved the bedding, I'm just going to go ahead and place this in the corner and then kind of push the bedding back around it. I'm also going to take a little bit and just put it on top and if the little gets in that's okay they end up they end up filling it with bedding anyways so there that's that now it creates a nice little underground hiding spot for them they really seem to enjoy this. Another one of their favorite toys is this little house here they absolutely love it they always make a nest inside of it so I'm probably going to go ahead and place it kind of up against this wall if you would. So I just went ahead and I placed that little house here. Again, they really like this. It acts as a nice hiding spot. They always nest in here and it's a good sort of climbing toy for them because they can climb in and out the holes and they go on top of it as well. So they really enjoy it. This is what the cage is looking like so far. We have this little platform over here and this little climbing bendy bridge hiding area, whatever you'd call it. Then I have like kind of a nesting area over here because like I said, they do always make their nest in this house, so they'll probably take some of the hay and form a nice little nesting area there. And then, of course, they have this little underground area as well. Next, I'm just going to take one of their saucers and I'm going to place it on this platform here. Let's go right in that corner there. And then I'm going to take a second saucer and just kind of place it right there, right in the middle. I do have three mice total living in this cage, so when you do have multiple mice, it is important that you have multiple wheels slash running surfaces for them so that they don't get territorial over them. I do have three total. I have these two saucers and I also have a wheel. The wheel is currently being washed right now, so that'll be the last thing I add in, but it is important if you have multiple mice living together that you do have multiple exercise surfaces, whether it be a wheel or a saucer or whatever, so that they do not get territorial over them. Next, I'm going to take this little wooden bridge here and I'm going to kind of place it on the platform and in the bedding. Kind of acts as a little bridge slash climbing toy again. So I'm just going to take this cardboard cart and I'm just going to kind of place it right down here. 
they seem to really like these toys. They can climb in and out of the holes and climb on top of it. And it also acts as a chew toy because they love chewing on cardboard. I typically always put one of these in their cage. I do have a couple others as well, but they really enjoy them. And now I'm taking this wooden cheese cube and I'm just going to stick it right down here. Again, this is something they really like because they can climb in and out of the holes and it also acts as like a chew toy. So I really, really like this. And then I'm just going to take this little igloo and I'm just going to place it right down here just so they have another little hiding spot there. And I'm also going to take a couple toilet paper tubes and just kind of scatter them throughout the cage. I'll put one there and one can go there and one can go there. Toilet paper tubes make awesome toys for mice because they really like to hide in them, they tunnel in them, and they also act as a chew toy. As you can see, they have chewed these up quite a bit. And then even though they have a lot of stuff in here that does work as a chew toy, I still like to give them a couple, you know, little chew toys. So I'm just going to put those throughout the cage so that they have these to chew on as well. And I'm also going to add this little pencil chew. This can, this can go right there. Okay, their wheel is all clean now. So I'm going to go ahead and add their wheel in this little section here. I've been leaving this open because I knew that's where I'm going to put the wheel. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add their food and water. So I'm going to stick one food bowl up here. I'm going to take another food bowl and kind of just stick it right down here. And then I'll take their water bottle and just hang it right back here. And I do want to point out that I also do have this little bridge hanging from the top of the cage, which obviously you can't see when the cage is open, but this just hangs here and it does give them another toy to climb on because like I said, they do love climbing. So I really enjoy having this bridge here for them. But for just a nice little overview of the cage, once again, we do have Aspen bedding with some hay scattered around, a big pile of it in this corner for nesting material. We do have a total of three exercise wheels so that they don't get territorial over them and they can all run out the wheel at the same time. Then we have this nice little bendy bridge thingy that acts as a hide and a climbing toy. And we have this platform over here that has all the tunnels underneath of it. There's this bridge here. We have their little cardboard car. We have this little house over here, which they love nesting in and climbing on. And then we have this little tunnel thing over here. A couple toilet paper tubes, this cheese cube. There's also this little igloo and then a couple chew toys scattered throughout the cage as well as their food dishes and a water bottle. So now that this is all done, I think we can go ahead and add the mice in. And I do also have a male mouse as well. Some of you guys may have been wondering where his cage was. It's right here. I just didn't film it because it's essentially all the same principles. I add the bedding and lots of toys and hide spots and things to climb on. Really the only difference when it comes to my female mice versus my male mice is that my male mouse only has one wheel because there is only one of him living in here so there's really no need for multiple wheels. So this is what his cage looks like and then I do have a couple things hanging from the top as well. There is this little thing here, he likes to nest in there and there's this little hanging toy here. So those work as some nice climbing things and stuff like that, you know. Oh, 
All right, so that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me set up my mouse cage. I hope you maybe learned something from this if you have mice or you're looking to get mice, or hopefully you just found it enjoyable. I don't know, whatever your reason for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also check out all of my social media, which is just MSAM99. It will all be in the description below. Yeah, make sure you do all that. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video.